Hello everyone, uh, brothers and sisters, I come to you today outside of my house. Uh, it's a lovely weather, uh, we thank God for this weather. Uh, I am doing very well and I hope that you and your family and your friends are all been doing very well and that you are getting used to the new norm that we are all uh, having to uh, deal with. Uh, welcome to today's reflection. Uh, today's reflection is from the letter to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5. And I read from the Amplified Version. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Let your character and your moral disposition be free from the love of money including greed, covetousness and craving for earthly possessions and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. For he, for God himself, have said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down. Relax, my hold is on you. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, God has spoken today to his children. God is saying that let your character and your moral disposition be free from the love of money and from greed, from earthly possessions, from covetousness and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have so god is saying let your moral disposition be free from money don't don't have greed do not covet about anybody's uh, possessions do not crave for earthly things and be satisfied with what you have for god himself have said I will not in any way fail you. Now, that, that's a big promise. And God has promised us that. He says, I will not in any way fail you or give you up or leave you without support. Brothers and sisters, what that means is that God is always there providing for our needs. God is always there providing for the things that we need. God is always there providing for our children. God is always there protecting our children. So here God is saying, I will not in any way fail you, nor leave you without support. It means that whatever you are going through, whatever challenge that you face, whatever it is that you are faced with in life, God is saying that he will never leave you without support. Now that's a big encouragement. He goes on to say that, I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless. Now, the particular Greek word used for this I will not uh, is so emphatic that the translators explains it three times to emphasize the point. I will not, I will not, I will not three times in any degree or in any way leave you helpless nor forsake you brothers and sisters god has promised his children that his presence will never depart from them here he's saying to you and i today that he will not in any degree leave you helpless he will not he will not he will not in any way fail you nor forsake you nor leave you helpless that is an encouragement that you should take today god has promised that we should be content with what we have. Let our character, our moral disposition be free from the love of money, from greed, from, from hate, from covetousness, and that we should be satisfied with our present circumstances, with the things that we already have, with our children, with our wives, with our, with our husbands, with our families. We should be happy with the things that we have. Even if what you have is not extravagant, even if what you have is not luxury, God is saying that you should be content and you should be happy with the things that you have. 
with everything that you have been provided with because the thing is you know what brothers and sisters uh, somewhere in some country somebody does not have what you have today somebody has not eaten somebody has not drink water somebody doesn't have a shoe to put on somebody doesn't have clothes god is saying to you and i we should be content with what we have and when we are content it opens or it unlocks the windows of heaven then god is able to provide for us and he's able to look at our heart and see that we are happy with the little that he gives us and he will continue to provide and to bless us brothers and sisters this day god is saying to you that let your character and moral disposition be free from love of money from greed from covetousness and from craving for earthly things and be content with your present circumstances and with what you have for he himself have said that he will not leave you helpless he will not in any way forsake you he will not leave you without support he will not in any way leave you helpless god has promised us good things and so when we are content with what we have he is able to continue to bless us he is able to continue to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall be no room enough for us to receive let your heart be put to rest and be content with what you have be happy with the things that you have be happy with the things that god has already provided for you and by doing that god is able to bless you more god is able to look at your heart and know that you are happy with the little things that he gives you and is able to bless you beyond measure bless you abundantly beyond what we can think or ever imagine may the lord bless you this day may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen a bit of notices today now uh, our church is open for private prayer uh, we open it on mondays uh, wednesdays and friday when you look on our facebook page you will see the timings that the church is open you can come into the church and pray have a quiet time and spend some time with god so the church is open from this week from mondays wednesdays and fridays look on our fake facebook page the information is there look at the timings and come in and pray and have a quiet time may the lord bless you as you do that this coming thursday the reverend mark james will be bringing our live midweek services to us so make it a point and tune in spread the word tell someone to tune in tell your friends and families and colleagues that they can join us with our live streaming services and their life will never remain the same so i will see you on thursday as we all tune in and listen and worship together with the reverend mark james may the lord bless you shalom Peace.